Okay, we're looking now at question number four. And question number four is about a fully classified cash flow statement for the period ending 30th of June for Happy Travel Agency. Now, we've been presented with uh, the following information has been collected from the records of Happy Travel Agency for the financial year ended 30th of June 2017. And we're given a whole list of items that we need to look at. Now, when we're, when we are, um, when we're doing our fully classified cash flow statement, uh, what we need to do is we need to classify. So what's the uh, groupings or what's the areas we need to classify to in a cash flow statement? Operating, financing, and investing. Okay, so my operating activities equals my current assets, my current liabilities, my income and my expenses. My financing activities will be any increase or decrease in non-current liabilities or equity. And my investing activities is an increase or a decrease in my non-current assets. So it covers everything, income and expenses, current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, equity. So everything from my um, income statement and balance sheet. So that's what we have to do. So now I need to classify all my items into these. Now is there any other classifications that I've got to be aware of as well? What about this one? Non-cash. So there'll be an item in there somewhere that will be considered to be non-cash. So we've got to be aware of those. So let's go ahead and let's start classifying. Cash at bank of the 30th of June, okay, that's a balance. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that one. I'll tick that one off. What about interest paid? Operating. Okay, dividends paid to shareholders. Financing. Profit for the year ended the 30th of June. Non-cash. Ooh, like it. Cash balance, so that's a cash balance, that's okay. Depreciation for the year. Non-cash again. Payment for the motor vehicle purchase on the 31st of the 3rd. Investing. Loan repayments made. Financing. Taxes paid to the tax office. Operating. Payments made to employees. Operating. Cash received from the sale of machinery, investing, cash sales, operating, cash received from accounts receivable, operating, I like this, payments to suppliers, operating, credit sales for the year, non-cash, you, you people are very smart, money borrowed from NetBank, financing, and purchases of property and land for cash. Investing. Now once you do that little bit, the next bit is easy. So now we've, we've done all the classifications, now we just have to draw up our cash flow statement. Now let's, let's go ahead and do that cash flow statement. Uh, what's my business called? Happy Travel Agency. What's my year ended? It must be 30th of June 2017. So, happy travel agency cash flow statement for the year ended 30th of June 2017. This is the important piece of information there, year ended. And if you put that words year ended in there, I'm going to put a little tick next to it, which means you get a mark. All right, so now first thing we do on our cash flow statement is the operating activities. Uh, I'm going to abbreviate to operating. And the first one we look is for collections from customers.
Now, what have we got as collections from interest paid, taxes, payments to employees, cash sales. So there's, there's an amount. I did receive, I did see another payment, cash received, cash from accounts receivable. So there's my cash from customers is these two amounts here. So I'm going to add those two together. 250, that's 700, 900,000 uh, dollars. 900. So that's my cash collected from my customers. And I'm going to tick that one and tick that one. Uh, I'll tick off this one because that's uh, non-cash. I'll just tick off my non-cash one so they don't confuse me. Throughout uh, depreciation was my other non-cash. All right, so I've got my collections from customers. Next, I want to make sure I make payments to my suppliers and my employees. Uh, payments to my suppliers and employees. Now, where were they? Payments to employees is 100000 and payments to my suppliers is 500000 So I'm going to add this figure and this figure together to give me 600000 All right, so, and I'm going to tick them both. Oops, hang on a minute. It's that one. Uh, and that one, so 600000 now I'm going to bracket the figure to indicate to me that it's a cash outflow. So when I come to adding it up later, I don't get confused and put a plus rather than a minus. Okay, you don't you don't have to do that if you don't, but you've got to remember that's a that's a cash outflow. Uh, what else have we got now? So other other operating activities. So I've got interest paid. So I'll go from the top of the list. Paid. My interest paid was 2,700. That's an outflow as well. Uh, taxes, I've got, ooh, got lots of taxes, 76,000. Uh, 76,000, any other operating? We've got all those, got all those, got all those. I think that's it. Is that all my operating? Anyone spot any other operating activities I've missed? Got that one, got that one, got that one, got it, got it, got it. And that's, yeah, okay. All right, let's add those up. So we've got uh, 600 plus 27, oops, plus 76 equals, and I'm gonna deduct now my 900. Gives me two hundred and twenty-one thousand, two, two, one, three hundred. So that's my cash flow from operating activities. I'm going to abbreviate. Just put op. Okay. Uh, what's the next one we do? Uh, investing activities. So my investing activities. Let's have a look. We've got a payment for a motor vehicle. Um, uh, what else have we got? We've got purchases of properly plant and equipment. And I thought there was one. Oh, yeah, it was sale of machinery. So cash received from the sale of machinery. I'll put that in first. Uh, uh, cash proceeds for machine. My cash proceeds for my machine were $100,000. Uh, payment for my motor vehicle. And how much was it for? It was uh, 40000 And what was the last one? Uh, purchase of property and plant and equipment for land. Property and land. Uh, was 150,000. And that was a cash outflow as well. 
So I've got 100 minus 40 minus 150 equals 90,000 cash outflow. And I'm going to bracket that figure to indicate that that's a cash outflow. And that's my net cash flow from investing. I'm just going to abbreviate to that. So what have we got left? We haven't got many left. We've got a few. Okay, so financing activities. Financing. Uh, what are we going to do? Um, we have loan repayments made. Have we got any money borrowed from NetBank? I'll do my cash inflows first. NetBank. Money from NetBank is 250000 That's a cash inflow. Uh, loan repayments made of 50000 And what did I say? 50,000? Yes. That's cash outflow, so I'll bracket that. Have I got them all? Uh, oh, dividends paid to shareholders. So my dividends paid was $30,000. And that also is a cash outflow. So how much have we got there? Uh, so we've got 250 minus 50 minus 30, 170,000. And that's my net cash flow. from financing. So uh, total cash uh, net. Uh, So my net cash flows, now I'm going to add these up, minus, so I've got 170 minus my 90,000, which I've got from there, minus 22, oh no, to add 221. Add 221. Oh, is that right? No, I got that wrong. Okay, let's try that again. 221, 300, minus 90,000, plus 170. Equals three hundred and one thousand three hundred. Are we finished? No, not yet. Because we've got to take uh, what's my opening cash balance? Cash balance at the first of July two thousand and sixteen is thirty thousand dollars. So. Uh, what did we say it was? 1st of July, so 1st to the 7th, 16, was 30,000, and that's a positive figure. So my cash balance at the 30th of the 6th, 17, should be 331,300. That's that. Okay, so part B. Part B is taking the agency, Happy Travel Agency has approached you, a bank officer from the Bank of Melbourne, for a loan. Taking into consideration the cash flow statement you have just prepared, would you advance them a loan, give reasons? Now what we're looking for here is, we're looking for um, what's called warning signals. So, so my warning signals. Now the first one of my warning signals would be a, I'd look at my operating activities and I want to make sure that they've got a positive operating activity. So that's a big tick. So I'm, I'm obviously collecting more money from my customers than I'm paying to my suppliers. So that's a good signal. So, so positive operating cash flow.
So that gives me a good idea that they'll be able to repay this money if they've borrowed it. Um, I'm looking now at my investing activities and we've, we've uh, sold a machine, but we've, so we've got a negative cash flow in my investing activities, that's a good sign. So um, negative cash flow, in um, investing um, indicates renewing assets so that's another that's another tick so we've got positive so tick there tick there and let's look at my financing activities I'm obviously borrowed some money but I'm using that money to purchase assets so I've bought some land I bought some property so that's all good. Why is this negative? Why is this negative? Yeah. Well, a cash flow, if I'm looking at my investing activities, a negative cash flow is a, is a positive sign for a business because if my negative cash, if it was a positive cash flow, it means I'm selling my non-current assets oh, okay. and I'm not renewing them. So as assets get older, we obviously can't get the same value we that's bought the them for. Thing, that, yeah, this, this is a good sign. It's a good sign. It means they're buying new assets, means their business is going to be continuing. Because a bit. Like that warning is good. So you're telling that the company is good. Yeah. Buying new assets. Yeah, that's right. If they're buying new assets, that's a good sign. Okay, yeah. yeah. If, that was, if that was positive, that'd be a bad sign. Yeah. 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 So, but, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's a good question. Well done, Sebastian. Um, and then the last thing is I'm borrowing money and I'm repaying that money. So it's another good sign. So. Um, financing activities show signs of repayment so would you advance them a loan yes